Hello there, hello there, hello there, YouTubes. How the devil are we all? I am very well, thank you for asking. Well, I didn't really ask, but I'm glad you're all right, mate. So what's all the drama then? Now, before we get going in this, I'd just like to outline, this is not drama. And I know a lot of you are now clicked off because you think it's not drama, right? That's fine. Um, this is not me trying to stir up shit with bearing or whomever, you know. This is me, I've got um, a genuine question, or questions, I suppose, for... Uh, well, not just for bearing, but for more sort of generally um, anti SJWs or whatever. Right? Yeah, sure, mate. I'll answer any questions you got. So, what is it this time then? So, I'll give you the backstory. It's not that long. Um, that's what she said. Oy. Anyway, a bit sexist, isn't it? But go on. Um, right. Um, last week, I did a hangout with Steve Shives. Uh, Christy Ossity and Christy Winters, during which time uh, we talked about the Richard Spencer getting punched in the fucking face thing, which is still hilarious to me and always will be. Um, and I said I was absolutely fine with it. Neo Nazis don't love me, they kind of hate me actually. They, those people don't like me. Are you like the hipster version of the Neo Nazi movement? It's uh, Pepe, he's become kind of a symbol. <laughs> Well, it turns out Spencer was actually clocked a second time that day as newly surfaced photos show him taking another fist to the face. The images appear to be screenshots, which likely means that a video of the actual incident is floating around the web and could pop up at any moment. People on Twitter were obviously quick to celebrate, with one person tweeting, please let punching Richard Spencer be the new planking slash ALS challenge. And another one read, we all have to stay strong and survive so that we too can have the chance to punch Richard Spencer in the face. Yeah, I think sucker punching swans one of the most cowardly things you can do, really. It sort of irritates me, but I can understand, like, that you might find it hilarious, but... You've had time to think about it, so what are you playing at? To varying degrees, the other participants in that hangout said that, you know, although they had maybe some qualms morally about the use of violence or whatever, they basically weren't going to lose any sleep over Richard Spencer getting punched. Um, and then uh, Bering did a, well, a partial response to that video, but he also responded to some stuff from a hangout from Garrett's channel, but I'm not going to speak about that because I, I wasn't a part of that hangout, whatever. Um, and the thing, I'm not going to take on so much the core of what Bering was saying, um, although I will briefly touch upon it now. Um, he was basically saying that the use of violence against people you disagree with is, is bullshit. Um, and he did, uh, did the thing of saying it was disgusting, that we just didn't describe it this way, and, and horrible, and said we were awful people, and blah, blah, blah. Ah, come on, mate. That's a lot of prominent people from your community there, mate. And you're not just talking amongst yourselves, you're talking to an audience, mate, and you've got to remember that. And whilst I've got no problem with the concept of of uh, being against violence as such, I'm not, I'm not a pacifist myself, but if non-violence is a consistently applied principle and a genuinely held conviction, um, then I've got no, you know, I, 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 that's fine by me. I disagree with it. I think it's impractical in the real world but you know it's not the end of the world it, it's not well it could be the end of the world that's sort of the point but i mean it's not like you know on an interpersonal level i'm not going to dis you know i'm not going to hate on someone for being non-violent that's fine well at least we agree we don't hate pacifists <sighs> but the thing is i don't think for a start i don't think bearing is a pacifist i think he's just using this as a piece of one-upsmanship but whatever well, I disagree with you on this, Kevin. I don't think it is one-upmanship because it'd be so easy just to take the piss out of this. But it's a very serious issue. If all sides can agree not to punch each other, that's got to be better, hasn't it? Um, and secondly, uh, Nazis aren't just someone with a different opinion. They aren't just someone with, you know, like, as we discussed in the hangout itself, and it's linked below, by the way, the hangout. So if you want to go and watch it and see what we said, then you can. It's not just someone that says, I've got a different tax plan, or I've got a different foreign policy to you. This is people who want to genocide. Stopping genocide means occasionally infringing on someone's freedoms by punching them in the fucking head. It's not a price I want to have to pay, but it's the people who want to do the genocide that have forced that price to be paid. 
Look, as soon as we start lowering the bar, it's hard to get it back up again. You know, we've got to draw a line somewhere. If someone's only using words, then words is the correct reply back. If someone's violent, then show violence back. Again, to paraphrase, as I did in the um, hangout, to uh, slightly ad adapt a JFK, uh, JFK quote, um, those that make peace impossible make violence inevitable. And Richard Spencer and his ilk have made peace impossible, it would seem. So if one of the two of them get punched in the head and we stop a genocide? Look, punching him in the head is not going to stop a genocide, is it really? If anything, it's just going to make him more hardcore, really. Well, I want you to think about this, Kevin. As soon as you can justify violence against them, they can justify it back against you. And that's not where you want to go, mate. You just don't want to go down that path. So talking to you person to person, not anti-SJW to SJW or whatever. The, the only people that benefit from this sort of thing is the extremists. You, you know what I mean? I've seen a lot of your videos. I know you don't want to go down that path. These things escalate. And it's no good for anyone when they do, is it, either? It was more um, how this fits into a paradigm that's been set up by people who I'm going to broadly describe as anti-SJWs. It's a thing called virtue signaling. Now, as far as I'm concerned, virtue signaling is fucking nonsense as a... It's not an argument for a start off, it's just a sneer. You're not actually taking on anything anyone's saying when you're saying that. When, when someone makes a point and you go, oh, you're just virtue signaling, it means nothing. It means you've got nothing, basically, doesn't it? It's bullshit. Well, Bering covered this earlier today, so no point in me covering this, because I've never used the term virtue signaling. Well, you don't really hear it much in the north of England, so, yeah. I'll leave a link to Bering's video, and I um, guess I'll catch you guys later. And um, have a good day, you lot. Bye. Where's the red going? Oh, that's the oh. last thing he needs, a bad run of the ball. Mark Williams, four.